And then let's try to boost like Paracelsus and Dismiss. They don't really like each other, but that helped. Let's go back to the Provisioner. Let's try to boost everybody's relationship. Goodness gracious. A bit of comfort on the road to damage. There we go. I finally bought that. Okay, perfect. I'm spending money, but I, I want to. Um, I want to go ahead and do this. And we're going to go... Uh, can they do it again? Yeah, they can. There we go. Positive relationship. And we're going to de-stress uh, these two people. Tremendous. And this just gives you a bunch of disease resist. Let's just give it to our guy. Good. Good. All right. And do we want to go back to the provisioner and buy... You know... What is that? Is that speed in combat? Okay, let me look at somebody really fast. This is called... Uh, five base. What do you mean five base? Combat turn? I guess this just means initiative. I, I don't know what this is supposed to... This is stress. Hmm. Oh well. So I'm w wondering what this does here like it gives you makes you slower but you do 15% more damage I mean it's pretty nice who doesn't have a trinket I don't really need it with you you've got to you've got to ah it's okay I'll save the cash we have a bunch of candles alter currency I think we're good to go. Let's see, where do we want to go next? End of your journey awaits you once again. Well, we have no choice, so we have to go to the mountain, which doesn't no further shelter awaits. seem ideal. This is the very summit. So because we're going to the mountain and we're going to be fighting the boss, I wonder if there's any kind of like more combat items that we want. Uh, do I have any anti-venoms? I don't. So maybe I want to take that. I'll buy it. And let me see what everybody's got combat item-wise. So you have this. Gives you bleed resistance. No, that's terrible. Um, use something good. Clearing corpses is actually not bad, depending. Uh, removing stealth could be good. Oh, no, this is amazing. Yeah, use that. You've got that. And then, let's see. You have... This is good. And you have... That is good. Now, we don't need to have this anymore. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this here instead. All right. Beautiful. Actually, I think if I go back to the Provisioner, I can buy another Anti-Venom. And then he can equip two. Is what I feel like happens. You have two equipped. Here, go to your combat items. Put that there. Yeah, stack it up. Great. The thing I have to keep reminding myself about combat items is they don't take a turn. I was, like, calculating in that they take a turn, but they don't. You can use one item per turn as a free action, basically. All right, let's go. Go to the mountain. Who knows what's going to happen? It's not going to be good. Oh, we got some relationships. Okay. Oh, no. Threats. Oh dear God! Lost. Well, so now I had these abilities that were like doing good things, but now they do bad things. Oh Lord! Resentment, the slowest and deadliest poison of them all. Well, all I have to say is, in my experience, like I was leaning into this when these were good things, but now that they're bad, I just have to say I can't. It's just unfortunate, but. I can't change what I'm going to use. Like, I can't not heal somebody or use some of these abilities. So here we go. That's too bad. I should have been playing up the relationships more, doing uh, more to the foster them at the other ends. Failure and regret. 
break through the snow. This looks ominous. A lot of graves I'm staring at here. All right, it's the mountain. And some shadows. A little bit of inky evil on the road. Neither have I, um, Sir Theodore. I've never been this far. I don't know if it wasn't in early access or I just didn't make it this far, but here we go. Uh, so what can we do? We can give him no quarter, which everybody likes. Uh, or we can fight, which everybody likes. There's really no alternative. It's like fight. Oh, this will deep debuff them, I think, if we do this. Do this. Okay. So, this is rather scary, but um, what we have to... What does this do? 75% chance to gain a stress. Okay, that's fine. We want to kill this one up in the front. This one can do so much damage. It's uh, bonkers. So I know you have defend. We got to take it off. Let's just get rid of it. And uh, I will throw the poison dart at you. Give you the blight. I'm going to give you the blight again. And then... Uh, did they lose? Looks like they don't have their positive relationship anymore. Maybe it's only for one sequence. So this is gone. And I am sad about it. But anyway. Hey, Benjamin. What's up, my friend? Good to see you. I know, isn't that funny, Sir Theodore? Like, Dismas had no reaction to it. He's like, yeah. All right, we're going to stop. Put the blight around. Malaise. Measured and steady. Hey, Bella, what's up? Hey, thank you so much for saying that. I'm so glad you enjoy those videos. Graveyard Keeper is phenomenal, isn't it? Such a fun game. All right, we will poison dart this one. Hey, Cooper. Good evening. Good to see you. So glad you could catch a stream, my friend. That's awesome. All right, we're going to go to Duelist Advance, and we're going to swing in here on the big boy. We missed, but that's okay. There we go. All right, that one finally died to the Blight. And... I'm going to just crush, just take some damage. Well, there you go, Dismiss the dodge that time. It wrecked you before. All right. Let me put the more blight on there. Wow, that's a great question, Cooper. I have a bunch of roguelikes that I enjoy. For roguelike, you know, I've always been a sucker for Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Classic roguelike. And then if it's a deck building, it's Slay the Spire, for sure. Roguelite? Um, I mean, Darkest Dungeon 1 is great. Dead Cells is great. I also like the Rogue Legacy series. Fantastic question. I will put that out to the chat. What do you all like in terms of your favorite Rogue Likes or Rogue Lights? I mean, for me, I like any game that... For Rogue Likes, I like them to be all about making the best decision moment to moment, like a chess game and or a puzzle. In a Rogue Light, I like a game that is just entirely fun, so with the loop, I want to keep going and get stronger progressively and do better and better each run. 
uh, but it has to be something like I enjoy all the time, like Wall World. I've been playing that recently, and it's uh, you know a great time. Uh, let's see. Let's throw this over here. Bam. There you go, Dismiss. That's the 75% dodge I want to see. I have to tell you, Morgan, I've never played Undermine, but now that you mention it, I'm going to put it on my uh, wish list. It's What kind of a game is that? Yes, that's a great point, Cooper. I did play Returnal on the PS5. I got it right when it came out, but I was terrible at it. I just, it, I thought the, the world was awesome, the graphics were awesome, but I just stunk at the game. And so it, I, I couldn't make progress on it. I wish I were better. But I'll tell you what. Hey, Justin. How's it going, my friend? Good to see you. Grim, good evening. Good to see you. Yeah, Tales of the Giles, uh, excellent. Hades, that's a good one, too. I forgot to mention Hades. Yeah, that's probably one of the best roguelites around. Um, Curse of the Dead Gods was fun, too. But yeah, it's it's becoming one of my favorite genres as well, Cooper. This is a really interesting game, too. I just haven't played it enough to, like, elevate it to my favorite uh, or anything like that. It's very well done, but I still have a lot, you know, to figure out with it. But we're going to go ahead and just try and get that done. He went on Death's Door, so he will suffer the blight on his turn. This guy wants to blind somebody. That's, like, completely okay. Oh, tower mode sounds really fun. Yeah. I did, Justin. On this channel, Justin, I have a complete playthrough of Darkest Dungeon 1. I think the Let's Play of Darkest Dungeon 1 is, like, a, it's north of 100 episodes. It took me forever to beat that game, but it's awesome. I haven't tried that yet, Br uh, Hot Dog. Brutal Orchestra sounds great. So just for everybody out there, I've said this. I'll s this is how I define... There's so much debate about this, but loosely, this is how I always define the difference between roguelike and roguelite. So a roguelike, L-I-K-E, is a game that's procedurally generated that has permadeath. And when you die, you lose everything. And nothing is retained, and you start again. So, Tales of Magile, Dungeon Crawl, Stone Soup. A rogue light, L-I-T-E, is procedurally generated, and when you die, you have to start over, but there is some progression system that is behind the account that you can work up to make successive runs easier, like in Darkest Dungeon 1 or in Hades, stuff like that. I hear Risk of Rain is really awesome. I keep meaning to try one of those. So like in Hades, you do the run every time, and it's different, but you, using your darkness and powering up your weapons, you know, um, you become stronger as you go. Or like in Darkest Dungeon 1, you know, the dungeons are randomized, but you have your hamlet, and you level up the gear and your people and the hamlet, and then even if you get wiped or you you know you start again, you're still stronger. Your account is stronger. Okay, yeah, and those games are great. I play either. I don't really have like a preference. There's you know just sometimes you feel like one or the other. Yeah, exactly, Sir Theodore. So RuneScape has a roguelike built into the game itself where you can do dungeoneering and just dive random dungeons and, you know, uh, you get to, like, kind of use different gear and different stuff in that context, which is cool. Yes, Justin. When you start playing Hades with those, like, infernal contracts and it just makes the game harder... I think I stopped playing, like, I used an Infernal Contract to make the bosses harder, and they were just, like, beyond my ability. I needed to get better at the game. It 
it's not vitally important to make the distinction, Morgan. I mean, it's it's a similar thing where you're like replaying it, but roguelikes are just usually more punishing because it's all gone. And sometimes they're too soul crushing to even really enjoy. Like I've had moments when I die in Darkest Dungeon and, um, or I'm sorry, when I die in Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup and I just take months of break because I'm so crushed by losing everything that I worked for and there's nothing. Oh, that's awesome, Hot Dog. All right, so we're gonna do, I guess, Wicked Slice. It's the only thing that hits that. Oh, well, there you go. The unrelenting application of violence yields morbid gains. All right, that guy dodged it, which is a shame. I'm simply trying to avoid using anything that gives me these negatives. So we'll just get these corpses out of the way. All right, let's see here. And Crush doesn't quite reach back there, sadly. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and Rampart. Just knock this back. Hopefully, there we go. We can get this guy up closer to us. He doesn't... He tried to hit somebody there so he could move back. That was sneaky. What a jerk. Professional jerk. Oh, that's interesting, Morgan. I've actually never played Fortnite or Roblox. I've seen people play them. I've seen, like, relatives play them and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Resisted? How dare you? I'm angry. All right, now we got this. Point blank shot should do it. Oh, man. There it is. Or repost. Okay, great. So, to be honest, we didn't actually lose that much right there. Feel the flame burning brightly for all the world to see. You know what, Cooper? Faster Than Light is a great one to mention. Faster Than Light is a roguelite because you unlock the ships and stuff like that, but you could almost call it a roguelike because you start every run, you know, uh, with just your ship that you choose. Faster Than Light is amazing. I have a Let's Play of it on the channel. I have a complete beginner's guide to the Taurus uh, and the NGA ship because I love that game. It, it's so hard, but it's great. It is great, Cooper. It's just brutal. It's difficult because it's like real time and you have to move your crew around the ship, but it's really cool. Look at me just driving into the darkness. God, this looks awful. You are really brave if you're taking this lantern this way. Malign Temple of the Iron Crown. It is a malign temple of the Iron Crown. It looks like that. Looks horrifying. What do we find in here? It's a brain. Pity the great denier, chained by its own command. Uh, okay, so we had this health lock. Cannot use healing skills or items. Well, that's annoying. Okay, so what do we see here? There's a latch of regret, a padlock of wasting, a shackle of despair, and a bolt of lamentation. I have not tried that, Morgan. I look at this, and I've never seen this boss before, so I'm going to have to learn the mechanics. And I know that when you start up the game, there's like different sins or whatever that you're trying to confront. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit these things, but I'm going to try to use my um, otherworldly flag uh, fragment here and just hit this. What happens? A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. The brain didn't like it. All right, uh, let's see. And then we'll Noxious Blast and put even more Blight on there. All right, we dodged a Paralyzing Fear. That's good. Ow. Uh, luckily, we only took half damage. So that uh, standard trinket that she had, it triggered, and everybody got defense, which means they take 50% damage, which is, like, 
just so unbelievably fantastic. Uh, what do we want to do here? I'll just go ahead and try to crush this. Let's just hit this thing. Now you're not seeing double. We'll get it. There it is. And I hope this... Who's doing the health lock? I, I hope that goes away because I want to take care of Dismas, but I can't. All right, we're going to put a bunch of light... I mean, Crippling Doubt is annoying. Alright, so this is a new thing. Uh, we cannot use Stress, Heal, Skills, or Items. Okay. Uh, but we can use Battlefield Medicine. Now, he doesn't actually need it. We can Cure the Blight, which we should do. I, I don't want to do this, but um, anyway... I'm going to put this right here. Resist? Ouch. feel terrible about that. So she became resentful, which is a shame, but whatever. It does... It's not that bad. All right. Now let's see. You're going to take... Uh, let's go ahead and try to point blank shot right here. All right. This thing should go... Right, she dodged that, which is great. Did not dodge that, but we got the retaliation. Sweet. Okay, we broke one of the locks. And ow, overwhelming anguish. That doesn't sound good. Her resolve is tested, and she's having a meltdown. Oh. Yeah, I forgot about her stress level. Oh, her health went all the way down. Whoa. Okay, that's less than ideal right there. Um, let's try to hit this. It kind of seems like that way. Maybe it is, Sir Theodore. Alright, so what does this mean? We cannot use range skills or items. Okay. Well, we're going to use this right away on her to heal. And then she can use her absinthe to heal again. So at least she could use her healing skills right there. And... Unfortunately, we can't use any of our skills because we can't use range skills, so we just kind of have to sit there and I'll buff us. That's fine. I guess I'll do this on this lock. Man, this thing is tough. Jeez. Yeah, not being able to use range skills is... I guess if you were to learn this boss... You know, part of this would be understanding which lock does which thing, so you would take them down because uh, these are terrifying. Let's see, what do I want to do? Hold the line, move them forward. Nah, we don't have that. Let's just um, do this. All right, Denial of the Reason means we can't heal, which this is fine because now we can do our skills. All right, we're going to Poison Dart. This one has High Blight Resist. Um, actually, no. I have to absent. Sorry. Uh, oh, no. She's not below. She's not low enough on hit points to do that. Okay, then never mind. Uh, go ahead. Miss is a shame. I think she must have been blinded. Uh, we'll do a hit. Duelist Shot. Alright, well, we got hit, but we got a retail, which is good. And I'm going to go ahead and try the Noxious Blast right there. God. Miss, miss, miss. It's a giant lock. Stop missing. Alright, hit it. Combo, so he'll heal. That's good. We don't need that. Alright. So this is the worst one. Denial of Reach. This comes from this thing. So we have to kill this Bolt of Lamentation. <laughs> Isn't that the truth, Hot Dog? 
it does not do what it's advertised to do. We could still heal her, though. Well, it does do that. It's just not healing you. Uh, we'll do pick to the face right here. There you go. We got a crit, but she's weakened, so it did half damage. At least they didn't get hit by that. All right, we got stunned, which is less than ideal. All right, let's do this. Conclusion. It's brilliant. And oh boy. The greatest test of all. all right, that bolt thing in the back is terrifying. It's just wrecking us. I should have focused on that. I mean, it looks like a weapon. I don't know what I was thinking, not hitting it. All right. Uh, can you use this? No, you're not low enough. There you go. All right, we got one of the locks. Oh, they heal when you kill one, too, so you can't, like, equally distribute your damage. Yikes. Okay, well, I'm going after you. This is no time to falter. I haven't gotten to go yet with my dude, so I can't heal. Boy, they keep targeting him. Can he have a turn? Oh, he got stunned, or she got stunned. That's what the problem was. Um... All right, I'm going to have to defend. I, I don't know what good that's going to do, but... Maybe I'll get a turn here. All right, denial of reach. Very annoying. Yeah, that's right, Sir Theodore. I mean, you will in the next run, but... Uh, what's your hit points at? They're at five yet. Yeah. Do this to yourself. <laughs> Drink some of the good stuff. Get yourself healed. I mean, can Paracelsus get a turn? I guess not. Cooper, I'm 100% with you. I've been playing it. And uh, I feel the same way. Like, I can't believe how good Tears of the Kingdom is. I can't believe how interesting the abilities are. I'm just, like, blown away by the ingenuity and the fun of the game. Self-reliance is a rare and wonderful thing. All right, next time I do this, I got to take down Denial of Reach because uh, it is just so brutal. We got to kill this thing first. All right, so what we're going to do is move up. Ah, shit, maybe shouldn't have moved up because now poor Dismas has nothing to do, but... Yes, Cooper, exactly. I agree. The, pu the puzzles, the problem solving, it's just so much fun. It's like you gave Link, like, you know, a Lego set with uh, the Technics where you have, like, power and wheels and you get to make all these uh, awesome things. Very good, miss. I'm very proud of you for that. Let's see. Go ahead and do this. I haven't got to try it yet. I got, like, recently, within the last week I've received Diablo 4 and Tears of the Kingdom. I'm very excited to try Final Fantasy, but I don't have the money to get it, and I have too many games, but it's like, if Final Fantasy 16 is good, and then you have Diablo 4, which I like a lot, Tears of the Kingdom, which seems amazing, and if Final Fantasy is good, it's going to be like one of the best all-time years for trip, like major titles in that fashion. It's uh, it's shaping up really well. All right, so unfortunately, because of this stupid denial of reach, uh, we can't do anything here. I could move forward, I guess, but that avoids getting stressed, I suppose. 